So let's check out Advent of Code today. Okay, day six. Custom customs. Oh, I need to uh, actually make sure that I pull up chat here as well. Twitch. Let's make sure that I can spot chat messages when they're coming. Hey, it is Arnold. Good morning. And welcome back. Let's see if uh, day six will go smoother than uh, day five. <laughs> Um, so let's check out the, the assignment. I just opened it and uh, I figured oh, yeah, I need to pull up chat on my second monitor. So, um, As your flight approaches the regional airport where you'll switch to a much larger plane. Well, let's see. As your flight approaches the regional airport where you'll switch. Yes. I had a little issue with it. It should be fine. Okay. I had little issue with it. So it should be straightforward. Okay. Cool. Young Brown Rice also did it today and he said that he had a small... Uh, error, but other than that, it seemed uh, okay. So let's see how I do. <laughs> I really hope that I'm uh, I'm not struggling as much as as yesterday. I made a pretty cool video about it, though, with lots of info and also the stuff that came to me uh, the day after, or, or like during the day. So I'll be uploading that after the stream. Um, but yeah, it it was way too late yesterday. Uh, hey, Krista, welcome. So I'm just reading the, the day six challenge now and uh, I will check it out. Well, I mean, I misread it first and then solved the wrong problem first, but that's just me. <laughs> when I actually read it properly, it's fine. Yeah, the same for me. Yesterday, I, uh, for some reason, I had in my head that it was 256 rows and it took me like a good 40 minutes to catch on. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> And also, right after it, it was done, I was like, hmm, you, you, you can hear me call it a binary problem on stream right at the start. Uh, but yeah, let's see. I'll stay here for a short while and then I'll go. Well, it's appreciated. Ah, I'm still on full screen, I noticed. So let me just uh, switch to desktop so you can, guys can read along because I just uh, pulled up the desktop. My bad. Yes. The, the Hogwarts Lego set uh, was a gift to me, uh, but I think Santa Claus uh, gave that to me uh, because she, he knows um, that my kids really like to build Legos with me. So, yeah, it's, it's all stuff to do with the kids, and uh, that's really nice. Uh, and they might be watching right now, so if you're watching at home, bye kids, I'll be home in a bit. Let's try to solve this. <laughs> Um, so let's check out the problem. Um, so as your flight approaches the regional airport where you'll switch to a much larger plane, custom declaration, declaration forms are <coughs> sorry about that, are distributed to the passengers. The form asks a series of 26 yes or no questions marked A to Z. Okay. All you need is to identify the question for which anyone in your group answers yes. Okay. Uh, since your group is just you, this doesn't take very long. Okay. Uh, however, the person sitting next to you seems to be experience, experiencing a language barrier and asks you if you can help. For each of the people in their group, you write down the question for which they'll answer yes, one per line. For example, okay, in this group there are six questions to which anyone answered yes, A and B. Okay. Right. Okay, they only give three lines, but okay. Ah, oh, no, they, they, ah, I see. So they count the total there. So there are two questions times three people equals six. No, wait, the, the C is in there too. What? Let me see. And then there's A, B, C, X, duplicate answer to Ah, okay, unique count. Sorry, never mind. So in this group, uh, okay, so the unique count. <coughs> another group asks for your help, then another and eventually you collected answers for every group on the plane, your puzzle input. Each group's answer is separated by a blank line and within each group, each person's answers are on a single line, for example, okay? Sounds pretty easy so far, but could also be famous last words. Um, this list represents answers from five groups. The first group contained one person who answered yes. 
to three questions. The second group, three people. They also said A, B, C, yeah. Third group, the three questions, A, B, and C again. And the fourth, only A. Sure, this is all pretty straightforward uh, still. The last group contains one person answered yes, but only, uh, what, the last one? Yeah, one person he could answer B. Okay, so in this example, the sum of the counts, okay, so you all add them up. For each group, count the number of questions to which anyone answered yes. What is the sum of those counts? Okay, why is this so easy? Ah, and I'm on the wrong browser version. Let's see, I need to switch to this one. And now I'm signed in, okay. I have many, uh, many profiles. Okay, let's check it out. So that should be easy. Um, bum, 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 bum. So I think it did it. Um, I'm just trying to remember where we did the, the splitting. I think we did that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So we can do that. So let's go to static in day six. We can do uh, string input is get input day six. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but um, I have a, a, a function that just uh, lets it, me pull in the authenticated input. Sounds awfully complicated to me. Now nah, it, it really isn't. Uh, int me. Oh, uh, uh, actually, I can just uh, return to zero. Okay. Get rid of the exception for now. Uh, we'll store the result in a dictionary. Um, actually, in a list of dictionaries dictionary uh, and we'll have a car and a int for the count uh, answers so we'll have uh, the list will hold the answers for each group and within each group we'll just set them and, and uh, increment them so we can go uh, group so we can go uh, this is groups actually for each string group in groups. Yes, uh, let's see. Because I've replaced all of those. Let me think. Because I've split them into parts. Now I have uh, them separated like that. Okay. So now we can have. Um, actually, it's even easier, but. If I do it like this, I could probably uh, leverage it for, for day six. Because I was thinking I could just strip all non A to Z characters from within the group um, and select them into a new dictionary or a hash set. Uh, I mean, a hash set. And then you get all the unique keys, but then you won't have the, the occurrence for them. So let's just do it the way that I thought about it first uh, and hope that it pays off for part two. It's actually a lot more interesting. Yeah, maybe the quick fix is interesting. I don't know, but uh, let's do it. Hey, Richard, thanks for joining. Good luck. Good luck. I've not done yesterday's yet. Well, yesterday's uh, can be either really easy or can give you a lot of headaches like it did for me, but that was because I made a lot of mistakes. Hey, Z, thanks for joining. Nice to see you here. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Uh, so we clean the string first and we do... Uh, and clean is group replace new car. Uh, actually, we can just do uh, spaces. I probably could do a regex replace, but let's not. Um, dot replace new lines. And then we go for each uh, car okay. answer uh, in cleaned. Uh, we have a dictionary set up. Uh, answers is blah. 
and we do um, did I ah okay group cloud source fine and we'll do uh, answer is uh, try get value answer out int uh, occurrence We'll add either occurrence plus one or one. We we'll do something like that, and that will keep count of those. Uh, console the right line. print out what we encounter. So we have group and this will be answers that count. Um, add group answers. And here we'll have uh, group answers that uh, count, actually that will count the keys. So if we run this, we can probably sum it. Uh, I can al already do this here actually. So we do a int uh, result is zero. Uh, result plus that. Before I write it out, let's just uh, check this here. Build error. 11 viewers, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> one more than yesterday. That's always good. Let's see, I uh, have a, ah, let's run it. Boom, okay, let's check the output for a bit. So that's a lot. So the answer should be, okay. Let's check, <laughs> 6,430. Let me submit that and inspect after. Boom, right answer, nice. So what I wanted to do is uh, just go in here and check, uh, because now we have our dictionary here. So the first group, you can see that uh, for answer Y, we have uh, three people that answered it. Uh, and for answer I, only one person answered it. So let's check part two. Uh, can I get the input? Oh, the input is still the same. I haven't read it yet, but let's just check. This should be fairly long lines, right? Yeah, okay. So if you do this yourself, I would suggest uh, to always first take a look at the input. Uh, I felt it was pretty straightforward, so I didn't. So, But if you're doing this at home and uh, you might not have done this a lot of times, I would suggest always check the input to make sure that all your assumptions uh, are correct. Okay, so let's do part two. I think this will be a nice uh, quick stream. I think they will be happy at home that I won't be uh, away too long today. Uh, let's grab a, a sip of my cappuccino and uh, go to t part two. I'm really happy that I didn't struggle this time. Let's see, part two. As you finish your uh, last group's custom declaration, you notice that you misread one word in the instructions. So here's the twist. Now for those of you that don't know advent of code, it's always like part two uses the same input, but then uh, does it in the same way. AOC is pretty good at explaining the problem and providing comprehensive test cases, but yeah, look at the inputs anyway, yeah. Yeah, I really like, uh, I really like advent of code. It's, it's, it's one of the most fun things of the year for me, actually. I really like it. And the guy that makes it really does spend like months and months making this into a good experience for everybody. There's lots of testers and, and yeah, pretty much after AOC is over, he starts working on next year and it takes him like really long to, to come up with everything. So yeah, deep respect for the man. That gives us all this entertainment. <laughs> so let's try part two. Um, as you finish your last group's custom declaration, you notice that you misread one word in the instructions. 
You don't need to identify the question to which every, uh, anyone answered yes. You need to identify the question to which everyone answered yes. Okay. So that would be, uh, I can use the dictionary now. I can get a max for each group. Just, um, no wait. I have to get the min, the min occurrence for each group. Right? Let's see. Don't need that. Everyone answered yes. No. So I need to have the. Hmm. No, okay, so my dictionary is not <laughs> useful for part two. Uh, let me check. Yeah. Actually, I, I uh, handicapped myself because of the way that I split the, the inputs now. So I have to go back now and, and fix that. Um, okay. But that still should be okay. Let me see, because I can just join all of them onto each other and then find, uh, yeah. No, actually, this this requires me to re uh, rewrite it a bit. So let's go back and do that. Uh, I'm just thinking because now I need to not do this anymore. So let's just make a part two now. And I thought I was going home in two minutes, <laughs> but this is more fun. Part two, okay. Um, so let me think here. So now I should probably treat every line as their own set. Um, let me think. I should keep like a, a running total. The, the first one should fill it up. And then for each one that doesn't uh, make it to the next line, we remove the ones that don't match. I think I'm doing something like that. So, um, Let's do a hash set uh, car. Um, everybody. And actually, I think if we ever we process the first line, if the result is empty after the first line, uh, we can already stop because the answer will be zero. But OK, let's not try to get ahead of ourselves here. Um, let me just think about this for a bit. Um, okay, so in here we will have, uh, let's do uh, people is group dot uh, split new line. What did I do wrong? Ah, it's a list of uh, strings, obviously. Um, so, okay, so we do um, this new hash set and we just do people zero. Right, we put in the string, which is basically a car, uh, car array, um, which will produce a unique set of answers. Okay, so we do while uh, everybody that uh, counts larger than zero. No, um, we can just go for if i is one, i smaller than people that length, and i. What did I do here? Uh, smaller. <coughs> okay, uh, and we can also do at the end if everybody that count. Uh, count equals zero break because if there's nothing that uh, that's uh, common between all the people we can just stop uh, and the result will be everybody that count so now we have a list of 
int and we can just sum them. Uh, we don't actually have to, but I can do it to keep track if I have to debug it later. And there goes my fall guy. I'll just put you over here. <coughs> um, I guess, the, uh, uh, not fall guy, among us guy. Um, is new list. Int. So I can use this later to debug, but I really shouldn't have to. Um, and I can do results plus equals everybody that count. And I can do um, answers that add everybody. Actually, I could do it like this and just have this be a hash set and then you get the, the actual answers per group. I don't think I'll need it, but oh, why not? What? <laughs> oh, it's a hash set of car. Okay. So now we do um, everybody that. Uh, Uh, what is the, the, the function again? It's not the contains. Uh, it's like the intersect, I think. Yeah, I think it's intersect. I'll check it later. So now we do the same here. We just feed in a new hash set of uh, the current record and this should work. So let's set a breakpoint and, uh, and check it out. Two. Let's see, so we have 14 characters here, so that is fine. <coughs> uh, bum, bum, bum. Is it still 14? Wait. Uh, let's check that. Uh, we do a string join. That up for the by. So the first one should be the same, right? Okay. And the third one... Is it also the same? No, there is an I extra there, but that shouldn't have impact on the, the answer. Okay. Okay, so it seems good to me, actually. And I didn't write out anything, okay. Um, let's do that as well. Let's see. Makes sense. No, answer is too high. Okay. What did I do wrong? Let's check. Okay, let's go back to the code and see what I did wrong. Ah, I need to clear, I'm an idiot. Uh, I need to, no, that actually happens automatically here, right? Or does it produce a new one? Ah, I think, I think this was the, the problem. Oops. not the most efficient to just keep repeating creating the the hash sets but hmm this is even higher wait let me just check intersect oh i have union here what the hell and actually there is a, a function that doesn't create a new yeah see it modifies i'm an idiot for not catching that. <clears throat> Always those stupid little mistakes. 
There you go. Sorry about that. Man. I, I, I had flashbacks to yesterday <laughs> for a second there. But yeah. So uh, I actually wrote, I, I looked up the, because I couldn't remember the name. Um, I was looking for the intersect function. Um, and I actually auto-completed it to union for some reason. So we, uh, we finished it by doing the, the intersection. So yeah, that was app front of code day six. I think that went on uh, pretty, pretty fast. I really should have used set operations too, but I just did the good old manual way. Yeah, but um, what I always try to say for that is um, there are people that really hate on link and, and everything that comes with it, uh, even using uh, like hash sets and stuff. Um, it's fine to use them when you know how to do it manually without them. So um, I think it's really good if you know how to do all those uh, things without the, the fancy tools, you know? Uh, and it sometimes can be uh, a lot more satisfying to do it like the, the old school way. So it's, uh, I really like, for instance, when I create something uh, and I don't have to use any third party libraries, I just code it out all myself. I'm a weird guy like that, but yeah, it, it gives a more sense of accomplishment. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, I like the use of intersect, that is smart. Yeah, uh, and if you do, uh, make sure to use the, the intersect with, which actually isn't the link extension, but part of the hash set, so that it doesn't keep generating a lot of memory uh, in the backend. So, uh, as for this, it wasn't like a computer memory hard problem, so I really wouldn't have cared if it was suboptimal for that right now. Um, but yeah, if you do something like this, the intersect with will modify uh, your your hash set to uh, instead of creating new stuff. Um, but yeah, it was fun today. It, it's nice to have an easy one once in a while. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, I, I've just finished editing the uh, the video for yesterday. So I think I'll go upload that to YouTube right now and. Uh, so expect the the edit for day five, which was really, <laughs> really a, a, a struggle, but I managed to put in a lot of information in the, uh, in the video itself, including some uh, things that came to me after day five was done, uh, because I, I, I don't know who saw it, but uh, I solved it using uh, just literally uh, the way they describe it, like halving the, the search space. But in the end, it's really just a binary problem. So I, I've wrote, uh, written out uh, all the things that came to me after, uh, and I think it came out pretty good. So, but it's it's a big video, so it will take a time to upload and process. So expect to see that in like I think two or three hours uh, on my YouTube channel. So thank you everybody for watching. Hi. I'm Nick and I've just finished editing this video. I hope you like what I uh, did with it. I've tried to add some explanations where possible. So if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, leave a comment and uh, maybe see you tomorrow. Bye bye.